YouTube has been being a jerk all day. This is the fourth time I've recorded this video. Um, so, yeah, I don't have enough questions on my, you know, questions video. I need questions for that, so ask questions, because I like to say questions, and I want to answer your questions on skydiving. Just skydiving. I think that'll be easier. Um, so, this video is things I don't get about girls. And yes, I am a girl, but there's so many things you chicks do out there I don't get. It's just, it, you, you guys do some weird stuff. And some pretty annoying stuff. So, I've got a little list on my sticky note. And I'm going to answer your questions. Uh, well, not answer your questions. Share my opinion. So, uh, let's see. That's the first one. Okay. Bathrooms. You guys do some weird stuff, okay? Some annoying stuff. Some of it's weird. First thing. Why do you go to the bathroom in groups? I know this is a question a lot of guys ask, but I can't seem to answer it. I've had some... I, I just... I don't get it. Why? Somebody explain this to me. I don't get it. The people are strange. I don't want to talk to anybody while I'm peeing. That, that, that's pretty much why I'm confused. It, Hey, I, I, I don't know. I guess I'm like Elliot from Scrubs, you know. Whatever. Um. Okay, here. You also like to take up the mirrors, I see. I like to go to the bathroom so I can pee, then wash my hands, then go back to class. I don't care if you want to redo your makeup, but if it's only second hour... I don't want to have to wait for you to finish doing your makeup so I can wash my hands, okay? I just don't, I don't get that, okay? Your makeup does not wear off fast enough for you to have to redo it every few hours. Just no. No. I, no. And then, eating. Yes. Eating in the bathroom. It's just gross, okay? I walk into the bathroom and I come across girls who sit in circles, nachos, pizza, they're eating it. And they're sitting on the bathroom floor. The lunchroom is, what, 30 steps away from the bathroom? A am I missing something? Is there some reason you have to do that? Some reason you feel like you can give up, you know, sanitary eating space so you can sit on the bathroom floor? Uh, it's just, it's just, that's just weird, okay? It's just, it's just weird. Okay, clothes. So much about clothes that I don't get. Oh, um, Uggs. Uggs and sweatpants. Yep. Who invented that combination? You look sloppy, you look like you just woke up and you stuffed your feet into a pair of slippers and you came out in your pajamas. Okay? It's school. Okay, it's school. You can wear that in your house. I don't really care. Uggs look like some weird deformed pair of slippers. But I don't care if you wear it when you're not in school. But seriously, if you're in school, dress neat. Don't, you don't have to dress so, I don't know. I just don't like it. At least everything's covered, which brings me to my next one. I don't want you to wear, I don't think it's right if there's a, we have a dress code at school. Fingertip length for your shorts, okay? Fingertip length. That might be a little over overdoing it, but don't wear short shorts. Just don't. I don't want to see your butt hanging out. I don't want to see your underwear. If your underwear is hanging out of your shorts in either direction, your shorts are too small. Okay? It's just, no. Then again, I understand that stores sell sh only short shorts. I know it's hard to find some regular shorts, but wear jeans or capris or something. Like, here. Oh, look! I'm wearing short shorts today. But guess what? I don't have school today, so I can do that. That's right. And even if they're short shorts, guess whose butt isn't hanging out of their uh, out of their shorts? This girl. Yeah, everything's covered. Um, trying to get around the short short rule by wearing tights underneath it. You really, you really think that's gonna change it? Really? No, it it doesn't work. Trust me, teachers are just too lazy to tell you that that's not appropriate. Okay, what's next? Oh, going to class with no backpack and then being surprised that people glare at you when you ask for a pencil. 
Your purse is not going to carry all your books. No wonder why the teacher is annoyed that you don't have the homework today. I don't, I just don't get it. Okay, you're in school. You bring your stuff to class. That's it. Let's see, what else? Oh, the people who, who annoy me when I'm walking in the hallway. Let's get to those people. This is fun. Um, you texters, okay? You can, I don't care if you text your friends. Then again, I think it's weird that you're texting in school. I mean, most people's friends are their, are close enough to their age that they're going to be in school, too. And most likely the same school. So why don't you just wait until... Yeah, I, and I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't care if you text during school, okay? I just... When you're walking and texting, nobody can walk at a normal pace. Okay. And granted, I kind of speed walk, you know, power walk to my classes, but... You guys also walk in a wall, so if all of you are talking or texting, and you're going that slow, I'm going to push through you. That's just how it goes, okay? I want to get to my class on time. I want all my class credit that I can get. So, I, I don't get it. It, it's, it. it bothers me, but, you know, what are you going to do? Um, wearing high heels every single day. That... <sighs> That, to me, is kind of scary, actually. <laughs> I'm a klutz, so maybe I'm, I don't know, I fall down. But I, I, under, I, mean, I understand if you can wear heels, like, every once in a while, but heels this tall every single day? There's girls at our school who wear stilettos to school every single day. Every single day. How? How do you do this? Do you have some magic foot healing ability that allows you to wear these painfully uncomfortable shoes for your entire life? I don't, I just don't get it. Um, uh, I already said the makeup thing. Oh, another thing about makeup. Why do you wear makeup to your sports events? Why do you feel like you need to cake on the mascara and the makeup so you can play soccer? I mean, I saw a girl in the Olympics the other day. She had mascara like swamp. Every, just, it was thick mascara, and she was running in the races. She's racing. She's running. I just, why? Why? I don't get it. Um. Another thing I don't understand is how so many girls can get excited over the littlest things in the most explosive manner. I mean, they start doing, they start doing this. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome! Ah! And I mean, I guess that's more of my stereotypical but it's less of the, ah! And I'm like, actually, yeah, yeah. They, they start doing this. That is the coolest thing ever! I can't believe where'd you get it, but I can't believe And they get higher and higher and higher. And then they start doing the happy dance. Why do you do the happy dance over a new pair of shoes? They're shoes. You wear them on your feet. Okay, they can be cute. You can be like, oh, those are really cute. But to get that excited over somebody else's shoe, or to get some, it's, I just, I don't understand the screaming when you're excited, or the happy dance, or the squeaky voices. You people annoy me. You annoy me to, to no end. It's, just it's frustrating. Another thing I don't get, and this isn't really um girls in general. This is stupid girls. I was in photography one day, and uh, the I was done with all of my prints. I had gotten everything, you know, developed and stuff. I had free day, and the teacher's like, "Why can't you can't you help this one girl?" Um, she was a freshman. I was a sophomore, I think. I think. I don't know. She was she was younger than me, but she was one of those. What? What? Wait, wait you know, um, kind of girls. Yeah. So she, I say, okay, and she's like, what do I have to do? You know, I was like, okay, she's, well, she seems pretty attentive. Um, okay, so you have to get the stop bath. The, the, the you have to get the developer stop bath. You know, um, oh, I don't remember. Uh, the developers, the stop bath, the wash, and all that stuff. I don't remember the names of the things, but that doesn't matter. And I'm like, since you're developing this kind of film, 
you have to do it for this long. And we had all the charts on the wall that told you exactly what you had to do for what certain amount of film, for how much, how long you have to keep something in. And there's a clock right in the wall. You follow the second hand around, you know what you have to do. And I'm like, okay, so first you're going to put the developer in. Um, and then I tell her, okay, so you dump the developer in at this time so you can watch it so this many seconds go around, okay? Right there. You see the chart? You know how much. And I'm like stressing this because she seems kind of ditzy. And I'm like, okay, and then she gets, I get the developer in, and I'm like, okay, so I'll be right back in a few seconds. I just got to go do something quickly, and I'll be right back. And I come back, and I say, so how's it going? And she's like, how long have I been developing? What? Yeah. I know. And so I basically was like, oh, well, you better take it out of the developer now. You know, you don't want to overdevelop it. Underdeveloping, you can at least you know, kind of work with it a little better, but I think she, and, it, and her film came out perfectly, and she had misdeveloped, you know, developed her film wrong for like five, five times before, so she, this is like her fifth roll of film, and she got it right because I was helping her, and luckily for her, I came over, and I actually did come over, and I told her to get her film out, because it would have been ruined, but cluelessness, I don't, I don't understand how, you, how so many of you can be that clueless. Okay, I laid out these instructions for you perfectly, and then, or, or and it's the same in class. The teacher tells you what to do, and then a few minutes later, what are we supposed to be doing? <laughs> That's one of my pet peeves. It's just like, okay, why aren't you paying attention? And I think I know why you're so stupid, because you don't pay attention. So I don't understand you clueless girls. And I don't, I don't see guys that clueless. I mean, I see some guys who are clueless, but they're not. I just, I, it just seems a little, just, I, I, how? How, how is this possible? I kind of ranted for the past few minutes on one thing, but that's the, that's the top thing that annoys me, is cluelessness, or, or if you're being falsely nice, okay? I don't, I want, if I want to sit alone at my table and read a book, don't come over and sit next to me and start asking me stuff, or if I'm like, or if they, if, if, or if you come up to me and say, how are you doing, I'm doing, and then I say, I'm good, I'm just reading a book, I, li I like to read alone sometimes, and they go, oh, okay, and they stay sitting there, I, I don't care if you sit next to me, I don't care, you're trying to be nice because I'm all alone at a table, I understand, you kind of pity me. But then, if I'm reading, and I'm into my book, and they go, are you okay? You seem kind of sad. Are you, are you okay? And I'm like, I'm fine. I just want to keep reading. And they're like, okay. And then a few minutes later, are you mad at us? Or why are you ignoring us? Just like, I would, and it's, you know, you get those people. Okay, sorry, I, I understand you're trying to be nice, but you can't be that clueless. You have to be more observant than that. I mean, I've got ADHD, and I'm more observant than that. I get distracted by so many things, but I pay attention at least. And I'm, 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 I'm kind of droning on and on and on, but you know, those are the things that I don't get about other girls. Thank you, YouTube, for not shutting down on me for you know seventh time or whatever. Um, so uh, comment below, share stories. Please post questions related, ask questions about skydiving so I can do that video because I'm excited. I want to talk about skydiving because that's one of the coolest things in my life, right? You know, that's one of the coolest things I know about. I don't, I'm not a very cool person, so please ask questions. Give me something to do. I have no life. I'm bored. I spend my days on the computer. So post comments, like, dislike. I don't really care as long as somebody was watching my video. Um... Feel free to, you know, dislike my video if you want. I don't really care, because it doesn't offend me whatsoever. Uh, feel free to like my video, because you genuinely like my video. Feel free to, you know, subscribe if you want. You know, I, 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 feel, I like being able to have people subscribe to my channel. I feel like people are actually seeing my videos. Uh, yeah, yeah, just do all that or do nothing. I just... Yeah, that's it. Bye.